ಮಹಾರ್ಜುನ ಅಬ ಮಹಾಜಾಪನ ಪನಮಾರ್ಜನ ಅವ ಮಹಾದಾಮಿ ಪಾಪನ ಕೈರಮಚಂದ್ರಿಕಾಣ ವಿದ್ಯಾವಧೀವನ ಆನಂದ ಮುನಿವರ್ಧನ ಮುನಿವರ್ಧನ ಪ್ರತಿಪದ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪರಂ ವಿಜಯತೆ ಮುನಿವರ್ಧನ ಪ್ರತಿಪದ ಪೂರ್ಣ ಪರಮಾತ್ಮ ಸಪನ ಪಾಪನ ಶ್ರೇಯಚಂದ್ರಿಕಾಂಡಿತರಣಿಪನ ಆನಂದೀವರ್ಧನ ಆನಂದೀವರ್ಧನ ಪ್ರತಿಪದ ಸ್ಮರಣೇನ ಕಾಲ 
एतादिशी एतादिशी कवकिपाए भगवन् ममापी विद्यायै जीवन्हि भगवन् ममापी दुदैवाइ शम्यहं जन्मनाहं शेतदत्पनमाजनं
चंद्रिका वितरण विद्यावधु जीवन आनंदाबुदिवर्धन प्रतिपद पूर्णाश्वादन सर्वात्मसपन परं विजयते श्रीकृष्ण संकीर्तन लॉर्ड चैतन्य गेव एस एट स्टैंड ऑफ हिज मिशन व्हाट ही वांटेड टू डू they are explained in eight stanzas and they are known as shikhaasta shikha means instruction and ashtak means eight 
Shah in eight stanzas he has finished his instruction and his next disciples the six koshamis have explained them in volumes of books so lord chaitanya says the subject is parang vijayate shri krishna sankirtan all glories to the chanting of hari krishna mantra or krishna sankirtan movement all glories all victory how it is victory all victory that he explains a chet darpana marjan if you all chant this hare krishna mantra then the dirty things which have accumulated in your heart due to material contamination will be cleared off he gives the example that the heart is just like a mirror if on the mirror there are heaps of dust accumulated then one cannot see the real face by the reflection of the mirror therefore it should be clean so in our present conditional life our heart is overloaded with so much dust accumulated due to our material association from time immemorial so if we chant this hare krishna mantra then the dust will be removed if not immediately it will begin to be removed and as soon as the mirror of the heart is cleansed of all dust immediately one can see the face what he is that face means real identification by chanting hare krishna mantra man will understand that he is not this body this is our misconception the dust means this misconception accepting this body or the mind as self actually we are not this body or the mind we are spirit soul so as soon as we can understand that we are not this bodies and immediately bhava maha dhavagni nirvapana the blazing fire of material conditions or the blazing fire of material miseries immediately becomes dissipated namat misery aham brahmas as it is stated in the bhagavad gita brahma bhuta prasanna immediately one understands his real identification as spirit soul he becomes joyful we are not joyful due to our material contact we are all as full of anxieties by chanting hare krishna mantra we shall immediately come to the state of joyful life bhava maha da bhagya nirvapana and this is called liberation when one becomes joyful free from all anxieties that stage is actual liberation because every living creature the spirit soul is by nature joyful the whole struggle for existence is that he is searching after that joyful stage of life but he missing the point that for in every effort for joyful life we are being defeated this constant defeat can be overcome immediately by chanting this hari krishna mantra that is the effect of this transcendental vibration and after liberation after being joyful the material joys decreases whatever joy you want to enjoy that decreases take for example for eating if we want to eat some nice food stuff after eating a few morsels of food we do not like to take any more that means 
here in the material world, whatever joy you accept, it will decrease. But spiritual joy, Lord Chaitanya says, Anandam Budi Bhadhano. The spiritual joy is just like ocean. But here in the material world, we have got experience that ocean does not increase. Ocean remains with his, his limit. But the ocean of spiritual joyfulness increases. Anandamudi Bhadhanam Sriya Kairava Chandrika Vitaranam How it increases? He is giving the example like the moon, rising moon, as the waxing moon, as the moon from the day of new moon, new moon night. In the first day it is just like a, a small a curved line, but uh, second day, third day it increases, uh, gradually it increases. Uh, similarly, the spiritual life, the spiritual joyful life increases like the moon rays day after day, day after day, till it reaches the full moon night. Yes. So Chaita Dattvana Marjanam Bhava Mahadavagni Nitpapanam Sriya Khairava Chandrika Avataranam Vidyavadu Jivanam And the life then becomes full of knowledge because spiritual life means eternal life full of bliss and full of knowledge. So we increase our volumes of joy because proportionately we increase the volume of our knowledge. Sayakairama Chandrika Vitaranam Vidyavada Jivanam Anandamati Vardhanam It is just like a ocean, but still it increases. Anandamati Vardhanam Sarvatma Sapanam It is so nice that one situated in this state of life, one thinks that I am fully satisfied. Sarvatma Sapanam Just like if one takes bath, dipping into the water, he feels refreshed immediately. Similarly, the spiritual life, increasing joyous day after day, makes one feeling that he is fully satisfied.